What is going on everybody? It is Apache, and today we're going to be going over the Last Remains uh, balance pack, right? Um, yeah, we're going we're gonna to kind of just skim over things quickly. Not going to go too into detail about everything. I just kind of wanted to get a video about it, share my opinions, and uh, yeah, right? And Droxen changes, right? He's getting a little nerf. Eh. I, I don't really feel like it's a big deal. I feel like the whole giving him more damage um, to his, you know, his kid basically... Uh, didn't make much sense. He was already at one of the best flanks in the game. Um, and he gets a reveal from it too, basically. Because if you shoot someone and they're getting ticked and they're behind the wall, like you see them, you know? So it's like, I think it's dumb. I think that's how it needs to rework. I don't know I don't know how they tested it and then thought it was okay. It doesn't uh, make much sense to me. Uh, Barrack didn't need a, a buff. Barrack's one of the safest tanks in the game. Not everybody needs to be broken or, or really, really, really good. Sometimes you just need something that's safe easy to play you know um a buff to the the old turret flamethrower like wh who complained about that who complained about that oh my flamethrower in my ult is not going far than if, if you're in the dome you're getting hit i don't know as, at least me as a tank player i get hit all the time right so it's like and i and i think it's cool that like even if the even if it gets destroyed the, the dome um he'll still have his flamethrower so that makes Lex like less effective against Barrack in a sense. So like if you dome with Barrack and Lex just insta pops your dome, at least you still have an ultimate in a sense because he's still the flamethrower. But I don't know. It didn't need a buff. The flamethrower not going away after domes uh, gets destroyed. I think it's cool. Um, I think it's cool. But he didn't need to give it more range. Um, yeah, Bomb King. Bomb King is a great, fantastic character, very, very strong. Not played as much because of the whole server issues that we had for like the past two years. So yeah, uh, but they're making it so that when you run Royal Subjects, your ammo is now reduced from six to four, which there are cards that you can use to increase your ammo anyways. But I don't really think that's going to make too much of a difference. I think it's just a weird change. You know, why not just make the other talents be better so that they get played more instead of just throwing out a random nerf that that'll hopefully reduce the pick rate of uh royal subjects but it won't because if you don't change the card that you can add ammo to it people are just going to add ammo the two ammo you take away they're just going to replace it you know i don't know caspian i actually don't know anything about caspian i don't play him io reduce healing from okay she got a healing nerf increase healing from the dog okay uh, now increase moonlight healing from so you don't you don't get DR anymore from Goddess's blessing. They're moving to DR, which is interesting. Um, hmm. So that means you're never gonna run Goddess's blessing. Basically, you're gonna run Lifelink or you're gonna run um, Sacrifice. So they just make they just made the they just made the talent Goddess blessing useless. Useless. Why would you pick that? Hmm. Why would you pick that when you can have two sources of healing with Lifelink, or or play, you can play Damage IO with Sacrifice. So Goddess Blessing is useless. Um, they should have made it different. They should have maybe taken out the speed card um, from the the the, the deck, at, change that for Goddess's Blessing, and then change the card, and then she still has something unique. Like she she can give move speed, um, but like increases healing. Come on, like so uncreative. Lex the law, just law buffs. So basically. Uh, when you activate it, you shoot, it goes off faster. And so now you can slide, you can slide, use your ult, and then slide again. Cool. Makoa, Leviathan, now increase move speed. Oh! Wow, wow. <laughs> Did Makoa need a buff? I, I like this because it's, it helps us stray away from the half shell play style, and it makes his ult a lot more useful. But Makoa's strong. Barrier reef increased damage required. Okay, cool. That's good. So yeah, they're they're just trying to get people away from the half shell play style. I like it. Uh, did I do I think they needed this? I think this will probably would have been enough, maybe a little more. But like, this is cool. You're gonna see. I think Leviathan's the most fun way to play, and it's in my opinion his best talent and the most rewarding talent. So yeah. So I'm glad. I'm glad they're buffing it. Octavia. Okay, so if if you die when you pop it, it still goes. We're done. Uh, starts when ability ends. Okay. 
Pip. Okay, cool. A shield as well. That's kind of cool. So you're gonna get a a thousand percent to two hundred, basically heal with the shield. Um, that's kind of cool. Sati, that's Sati nerf's cool. Strix crack shot now also reduces Talon rifle's damage to nine hundred. Removed headshot penalty, so therefore you can headshot again. Um, which is cool. So you probably hit this for a headshot. Unscoped accuracy. That could be interesting. And then Nocturnal. Uh, Grants playing this stuff. Cool. But they didn't take out the card. That means that you can have the card. And you can go lightning speed apparently. And they don't nerf it. So that's going to be weird. Because this stacked with the card. You're going to be zooming. Torvald. That's cool. Because sometimes you don't want to be in the O anymore. Thanks, Grandpa. I don't know what it currently does now, but that's cool. V1, V1 needed the nerf. The grappling thing was annoying. A little like, uh, yeah, I think it's fine. So, so the thing with Yag right now is that um, I really hate how her ultimate operates. Uh, they have to be so far away for you to pull them. And that pull takes long. The pull takes long already to happen. So, like, I feel like it gets you killed a lot. Um. Uh, so I wanted that change reverted. It just kind of like reeled it back a bit, though. Nothing major. Um, I still don't think it's enough. I just don't like that. Like, since the ult takes so long to to go off, why do why do why are you giving me a limit? You know, and I guess it's because you can just instantly roll up on somebody and hit them at like point blank. So like, if that's the case, like, give it a little bit of space. Not as much as we have it at now, though. And the rest would just be bug fixes, things like that. So, uh, for the most part, when it comes to balance changes, do I think it was a horrible patch? Yeah. I don't think I don't think they touched things that should, probably should have get touched. I could probably go through and find things that need to get touched. Uh, v seven nerfs good. Um, Stasi nerfs good. Um, and then uh, it just doesn't make sense with certain buffs. Like certain characters don't need buffs. The Andro didn't need a buff. Barrack didn't need a buff. Bomb really didn't need a nerf either, but. Uh, so I feel like they could have did a lot better, um, and they they definitely probably, probably could have fixed uh, a few other things. Um, but yeah, alrighty, and and that's it for this video. To be honest, um, if you like this kind of content and want to keep up to date with me and my channel, subscribe. It's free, it's easy, and it lets you know when I post new videos. Um, if you enjoyed this video personally, uh, you can always leave a like to let me know that I'm doing a good job. Um, and then comment down below if you have any opinions on anything, as well as if you would be interested in watching me, uh, basically through a video. Um, <clears throat> go through the champions and just talk about like possible buffs, nerfs um, that I feel like would be beneficial to the game um, and just, get, just throw out ideas of what a player who has like 8,000 hours would think about balance changes, right? Uh, but without further ado, I'm going to see you guys in the next one hopefully you guys have a great morning, afternoon or night, wherever you may be and uh, yeah, take care of yourself peace